You are looking at the brand new Tower Hobbies. Yes, I said that right. 1.5 meter Beaver. This is their newest plane in their lineup, a plug and play airplane with optional floats as landing gear if you wanna fly off water. In today's video, this will be a maiden flight. More on that later. <laughs> we might, is there a water droplet dripping off that? <laughs> okay. This is a 3S airplane. Believe it or not, 1.5 meters, 3S airplane. Dense. It, Dense, not included. Hey, it does actually have flaps, and I want to talk about the flap system. We have ailerons, elevator, rudder, throttle, and lights on this airplane. It's very cool that it's a Tower Hobbies plane. Now, I will tell you, if you're not familiar to assembling airplanes and you're only used to doing something like e-flight and they snap together in 30 minutes or less this took me i hate to say it but it took me with the i did i did the floats first and i said i'll talk about more, more of that later it took me close to four hours to slap this together and i was pretty devoted to putting it together i mean i had i was watching a show so a little distracted but just be aware it doesn't assemble quite as quickly and as easily as like an e-flight plane there are some unique things about this when putting it together and i'll bring more of that up later as well but here's one of the very unique why is that wet <laughs> one of the very unique things in this airplane is the way the flaps work and they are two push rods sharing one servo arm for the flap functionality that will kick to the right and they'll both go down that will kick to the right again they'll go down more together these are the wing tubes which is a kind of a unique interesting way that they did that this clicks on there's just a little bit more finesse required when building this airplane. The battery tray is on the bottom. It's got my receiver mounted here on the right panel, which is recommended. And then we have an EC3 battery plug, because again, this is 3S. You would think with an airplane this size, maybe 4S, but it's 3S. So let's actually ground maiden this airplane, and I'll talk about the water experience here in just a minute. <laughs> Character. <laughs> That's water. <laughs> I mean, Nate, how much did you have to pay for yours to come looking like that? <laughs> I had someone custom paint mine with mud. <laughs> <laughs> nice, takes off very quickly. Very awesome. So, <laughs> just briefly, just so you guys know, I got some water time on this. But that's all I'm going to say. Nate thought it was a boat. Well, <laughs> it kind of is, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, it's it survived a, and it's still flying. Yes. It has a very unique um, setup for the water pontoons and making the rudder in the water steer. But yeah, I do have just a little bit of stick time on this. So this is a true maiden. It really is with the wheels. The water maiden coming soon. It's coming very Subscribe. soon. Subscribe. We hope, we hope, we hope, we hope. Um, yeah, the lights look good on this. It's 1.5 meters. It's a lightweight airplane. So that 3S battery is actually punchy on there. That's 3S, you know? This is really impressive for a 3S airplane. You, that was some pretty good vertical climbing there. The loop looked great. If you like a scale airplane, this is really good. And I don't actually know the price at time of filming this. It's just a couple days before it actually releases. So you guys will have to check it out in the description box. We'll have a link there for you to see. I just didn't get any info on this thing other than what the instructions had in there. So I don't know the price. I know a lot of times people will say, well, Nate, you know, you got to talk about the price. I, I would if I had it. Sometimes that happens with early releases. Look at that. We're knife edging. That's pretty awesome. And I'm not even holding full rudder. There's full rudder, which really didn't make much of a difference. So just about full rudder to hold that knife edge, but it did it really well. You know, a lot of guys are going to want, everybody loves a good skill airplane. Well, not everybody. Most people that fly foam plug and plays like a nice scale airplane. And it's just nice to see tower hobbies uh, with a couple new airplanes. They had a glider, which surprised everybody. Now let's throttle up. We're just gonna climb it. Wow, I'm really surprised being 3S that has that much climb rate. I'm really surprised. A little close to wow. it. Wow. Sorry about that. 
<laughs> well, we'll definitely do an inverted pass after this. We'll get around the runway. I like to do inverted nose into the wind for the first time. The roll rate's okay on this, so what I'm going to do is roll into inverted. Here we go in three, two, one. And just hold it upside down. Very little nice. elevator needed to keep that upside down. Very little. That's nice, actually. Let's see if we can keep it for a whole circuit. I'll try. Easing off on the throttle some, getting it a little lower. It does want to roll back over being inverted. You've got to kind of play with that to keep that wing level because there's just a little dihedral there, the V shape of the wing. But yeah, look at that. On a maiden flight, that's not too bad. We'll go outside. Hey! Oh. Are you gonna play your favorite game? Will it snap? Will it snap? Let's see. Uh, you didn't have a lot of power. Uh, Try again. Let's do it over here. I'm gonna say no, Abby. Yeah, just a roll, basically. <laughs> and I think that's rudder authority limitations, just the shape of the airplane in general. It's just a good old scale plane, and sometimes you don't get the wild side of things. And then also lack of speed. Speed, a lot of times, this is full throttle pass. Let's just do it. Just full throttle. I'll get it full throttle over the runway so you guys get a better sense of it because when it's far away on the camera, sometimes it's hard to tell. Here's full throttle right here. Oh, over our heads. Well, well not quite we'll over our heads. One more time. Over my right camera left. to point out. This is a 3S2200. There we go. That's full throttle, guys. But watch the climb rate. See that? So it's a. It's like not super fast, but it's surprisingly light, which means the climb rate is good on it. And I'm impressed by that. Because of the light weight of the airplane, we can do some really cool knife edges. You got enough authority for that. You can do a hammerhead. Let's try a Cuban 8. The roll rate's not amazing, so I gotta be a little careful and not wait too long. That's okay. We can do it a little lower on the backside. But the wind is to my back, so we're just going to keep our plane in one piece, hopefully. There we go. Let's do a mid-throttle full flap pass and see how much the flaps affect it. And we probably won't fly too much longer. There's full flaps, no ballooning. There's mid-throttle, nose into the wind. Remember, we don't have AS3X or anything on this because I just have a little old-school receiver in here. Flaps up, throttle up. There we go. And we'll do maybe one more pass over the runway here. Consider a landing. It is kind of a pretty day to fly. It's a cool airplane. It does look really good. I'll hand it to him. I love the maroon and white look of the plane. Let's see what we can do here. Maroon. It's maroon, don't you think? I think it's maroon. Pretty more sure than that's red. red. <laughs> I do have Expo in here. I know that looks a little twitchy, but I've got Expo on that. That is red. Hey, hey. My God. <laughs> All right, I'll give you maroon. Not too bad. <laughs> Good job. I think the main thing to note here is when the airplane is assembled and, you know, well done, it flies really well, in my opinion. It really does fly well. I think when I was putting this together, I thought, geez, 1.5 meter, 3S battery, there's no way. There's no way. It'll just be underpowered and feel like it needs more power. And I think the main thing to, to note is the Tower Hobbies glider assembly wasn't like a lot required. And if you're used to E-flight planes or UMX planes, this is a lot more assembly required than that. And I don't want the wrong person to buy this. It's a great performing airplane, it really is. You saw it, that was, a, that was an honest, real maiden with the landing gear. And there will be a water flight video of this airplane, hopefully on the channel very soon. Kind of a funny little flight, but uh, you know, real experiences. That's what we do on our channel. This was good though. I mean, they 
did some unique things like the single servo with those push rods for the flaps. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. And just a couple other unique ways of setting the airplane up, but Tower Hobbies tends to come in, again, I don't know the price, I'm just making assumptions here, but they tend to come in more affordable than an e-flight plane. And they would have to do something to cut that cost to get that price. So, you know, they did a couple of unique things and you'll see that especially in the uh, water video when we have that. So if you don't mind setting some time aside, I think the instructions did a fine job at getting this thing assembled. Just follow them step by step and know that it's gonna take longer than an hour for most people to put together. And if, uh, if you like that, the idea of that, maybe want just like a little weekend project or something, then pick this up. It's a Tower Hobbies plane and you can support our channel and our family if you click the link in the description box and pull it up and buy it through that link. That's a great way to support us. Now with Maidens, you guys know this to our regular viewers, but we're gonna have some new viewers because I'm guessing the Tower Hobbies guys are coming out of the woodwork here because we've got guys that used to only fly Tower Hobbies planes. So welcome to the channel. Now you probably know this if you're a Tower Hobbies fan, but we like to fly with AMA. That's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And someone recently challenged me on why do you give recognition to AMA? You know, they've seen instances where they're helpful. Maybe they think they're not helpful. But in my opinion, if you sign up for AMA, you're generally a self-educated person for the most part. You're gonna take the time to research what is safe flying. And then you'll at least read the bulleted list of safe flying. And it's a shame. There's a lot of YouTubers and just people in general that promote flying of RCs that are not safe. Now, sure, we all have mishaps when we're flying RCs. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about intentionally dangerous and seemingly stupid acts that are putting you at much higher risk than what you should be. In the Academy of Model Aeronautics, maybe they're not doing everything you think they should be doing, like remote ID stuff or whatever. They're still helping the hobby significantly. You know, their, their powers are limited. And I still applaud them very much and encourage people flying with AMA because you're better off with them than without. Just encourages safe flying. That's really what I'm getting at. So if you wanna sign up for the AMA, which comes in, and just a couple batteries, the price of a couple batteries, you can be insured the whole year. We'll have them linked in the description box below. For today, it's been a roller coaster of a day and the rest of the story will make sense when you guys see the follow up video and a very roller coaster kind of day. I still wanna thank God. You know, we, we have to have sour moments to appreciate the sweet ones. And Abby and I have had a handful of sour moments lately, but that just makes the rare sweet moments these days that much sweeter and I'm grateful to God for that. Last but not least, I wanna say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your amazingly awesome support. If you're into water airplanes or just good size airplanes, we'll have a hand-picked video popping up right about now just for you. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.